Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Why are you looking at me? Eh? Cry, cry, baby. Grandma, if you're watching this video, Grandma, come and carry your baby. I'm tired. Grandma, I know Grandma watched my YouTube videos. Come and carry your baby because I am tired. This girl cries a lot lately. Like, she wants me. Yesterday, all through yesterday, I was backing her. Yesterday, all through 24 hours, I was backing her. She doesn't want to pity me. Like, I want to make a video. In fact, I already halfway this video I carried. I had to start all over again. Anyways, mm, I love her like that. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the tricks, some of the things I do to spice up my marriage, and some of one of the things, one of the many things. Uh -huh, let me put it this way: one of the many things I do to spice up my marriage. My um, one of the many things is food. My husband is such a foodie like he doesn't eat too much but he likes when he eats make it good quality food that is really worth it yes my husband eat like two three times a day but good quality food is what uh, is a sucker for is a really good is a sucker for good quality food so this is one of the ways i win my husband's art by giving him good and quality food and um yeah no excuses for bad cooking because uh, anything you want you ship it from nigeria you guys already saw when i unboxed my nigerian food and um yeah so we just buy a few things at the african store but the major things we buy them from nigeria okay so my husband for those who do not know i've been married for 11 years now and one of the reasons one of the many reasons why my husband got married to me i married to me according to him mm -hmm. one of the many reasons why he got married to me according to him was the very first day he tested my vegetable soup when we were dating and then he was like oh my god this is my woman this is my wife this is the boy of my boy like <laughs> i never knew he told me like three years after our marriage we were like there was only a goosey soup the vegetable soup that i made when we were dating. i can't even remember the vegetable soup again because yeah, no pressure was was applied i just made it like casual but you know if you can cook you can cook you just can't help you right <laughs> so i just made it casually no much pressure like to impress or anything no but it was like he has never seen he has never tested he has never had there's that kind of vegetable soup before like he ate it and was like oh my god so it was like that was when it was like this is my woman like i won't let this girl go one, one bit like i won't let this girl go so yeah and um I try to always spice up our marriage by making good food for my husband. If you drop food and sex, I think a lot of people food, good food to sex. <laughs> because the man likes to eat good food. So, um, yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm preparing for my husband this evening. He went to work. He goes to work uh, very early in the morning and comes back at night. So, I'll be showing you guys what I'll be making for this man who has been always supportive. He has been always there for me. My husband has been there for me through through every take and time. If this man is just too much of your husband, I know it's my husband. Like if he don't do it for you, who will? But then he has done beyond what all beyond what husbands do for their wives. Yeah, that's how much I love this man so much. I don't joke with my husband. Just when it comes to the things that um he likes so much, which one of those things are food. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be making my husband's. Not to favorite food, but unique food that we make in our house once to three times a year. Once to three times a three times a year, right? Yeah, three to four times a year. We don't usually make this food, but each time we make, I don't even know how to make it. It taught me how to make it, and I most time when I make it, it wouldn't like it. Would like I don't like it. I don't like. It. But finally, I got it right. So yeah. So I used to make it for him three to four times a year. Just I'm just blabbing too much, okay? Just stick around to my channel and just the rest of this cooking video, okay? And at the end of this video, you get to see my husband eating, okay? Because I have not shown my husband really on my channel, have I? I have not. He told me, do your thing on YouTube, but don't involve me. Like, I don't have time for YouTube. That was what he told me. But one day, I'm going to have to drag him. Dr drag him as he come to this channel. Maybe we'll do, do, do sit down video on how we met or cook for my husband is such a good cook anyways, he cooks very well. So he cooks for me sometimes, you know. Usually when I'm sick or when when I give birth, you know, those are the days he cook for me. So enjoy the rest of this video. Um
and then the rest of this video right bye hey guys so um this is my okwa i brought out this okwa from my fridge from my fridge and um um this is the dried okwa they have the dry and the fresh one uh if you're in nigeria and you can get the fresh one from the market but because this okwa is being shipped from nigeria to canada we made it um my mother-in-law made it very very dry okay so I brought it out most of the time once what what I usually do is when I bring it out I'll just pick out some blah blah particles and all that just any dirt I find after picking it I will now soak it with lukewarm water I'll soak it for about three hours two to three hours depending after that I'll wash it for sev several times like I don't I don't have a particular a uh, number of times I wash it I wash it till I feel it's clean it could be five times it could be six times all the paint so yeah I'm just trying to, here to explain to you guys everything about it but well I'm doing a voiceover so my explanation is no longer necessary right so but that was what I was still explaining in this video okay so after um washing it I'll show you I don't I won't show you guys the process of washing but um, in this last clip, you see where I soaked it already, okay? This is the already soaked ones. You see um, the dirty ones at the surface of the water. But anyways, we're just going to soak it and leave it like this for um, about two to three hours before we start the proper cooking. So it's now three hours. I've finished washing it and this is it. I am about to cook it. It's inside the pot right now. Yeah, this is like um the cooking process. So I cooked it for about um let me say for about three hours. Okay. So yeah, after cooking it, I sieve out the water because my husband loved the water. I added dry fish, I added salt, I added my crayfish. Um yeah, that's the crayfish. I added the pepper to um pepper, hot pepper. Um, I added um, um, my little bit, a little bit of palm oil. That's the palm oil, and then um, I stir it together. After stirring it together, I add one um, cube of maggi. Um, no chicken, not chicken is like two in one, right? So I added the two in one, no chicken. I stir it together and. It is ready, guys. It is ready. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys when I sieve the water. I sieve out the water because my husband loves to drink miruqua. I call it miruqua. He loves to drink the water and eat the okwa. The miruqua is you will sieve it before you start putting all the ingredients. You won't put any ingredients, no ingredients. It just it is it tastes like milk. It has this milkish test in it that's so nice. So this is me testing it before I give it to my husband to make sure I did a good job. And trust me, it is 10 over 10. It is 10 over 10. So I said to okay, this man deserves even more. I brought out my catfish since like three, four hours ago. I said to make catfish with my husband to, you know, to step it down with the okwa. You know, after eating okwa, you use okwa soup catfish to step it down you get what i mean that's how we roll so i brought out my catfish it's a frozen catfish not a fresh one a frozen one so i brought it out and um i want to slice it and do the proper one in my next video i'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step process on how, on how i made this simple catfish and it was so nice so nice guys it was so nice it was too spicy and sweet and delicious and yummy and anything you can ever think of just so nice so yeah i gave it to my husband man because this man deserves nothing but the best yeah our food is ready <laughs> that's my catfish this is so yummy guys i can even perceive the smell from here and um this is the okwa and this is the miruqua that is the water the okwa water the husband likes the water first before you put any ingredient, before you even put salt and anything. So this is it. Um, it was so good, guys. I will not even lie. I, I'm not exaggerating. This food was one of the sweetest okwa I ever made. Maybe because I made it with so much love. <laughs> this is one of the sweetest okwa. And this is my husband devouring. My husband loves to eat in the living room so he can be watching news at the same time. He loves to watch Nigerian news, so he loves to eat in the living room, most time in the dining, maybe in the afternoon, but 
in the evening, most, mostly in the living room where you can eat, eat and watch Arise News. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye.